Hey guys, it's been a while, but we are now back and we've been off air for a little bit, well, for quite a while actually. Um, there's been a lot happening and um, we've got a couple of announcements to make. I think the first one is pretty obvious. Um, I've detransitioned back to being Joe. Um, so first of all, I wanted to cover that really. Um, I don't want to go into it too much, but as you know, Fiona's mum has been very ill and she moved out and took after her. I started to struggle with not being there and um, everything just got too much for me. Everything just collapsed in on itself. And to put, not to put too fine a point on it, I just, I can't understand it, but I just stopped feeling female, I guess. And uh, I just felt male again. And it was it was horrible when it happened because it didn't happen straight away. I had a bit of a meltdown. And um, I was really in a bad place for quite a while. I'm not, I'm not in such a bad place now, but I was. I was struggling so much. And, and Fiona couldn't be there because she had to look after her mum. It was absolutely horrible. Um, you were in a dark place. I, I was in a dark place. And I, I, I think things, um, you know, I, I needed some support and Fiona wasn't able to give me that support. Um, but I also had an epiphany um, about myself. I uh, It became apparent to me that, you know, everyone was like, a lot of people were supportive, but a lot of people kept calling me here all the time, especially my family and and uh, and I started to think that you know obviously they never saw me as female and and also as well even the supportive people I started to think well yeah people are being supportive and maybe they are using the right pronouns etc etc but do they really see me as female or well, they're just being polite and I came to the conclusion that really they didn't see me as female if like and 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 the thing is even though they won't admit it um and and the thing was if if everyone sees me as male as as male. Uh, then maybe I am. So I, I didn't really see the, the, the point in continuing to put myself through that. Um, and I'd say I was on my own and I was just, you know, I was, it was just it was just too tough. Um, and everything just collapsed. And I, I, right, bad, I went through a bad, really bad phase. And, and then it took about a month, but well, maybe two or three months, but the feelings of being female just went. And um, I'm just back to how I was, I guess, pretty You've much. You've been cancelling, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been having some counselling about it. And, um, the income was some trauma in my early life, which may have contributed towards this, I don't know. But, you know, I don't see how it's possible really to change who you are. Um, I just I don't think you can. Um, maybe it's been beaten down by... By life, I don't know. You got like sucked into things, didn't you? And drawn in. And... Yeah, the, the thing about the, the the transgender community um, is it's all based around um, positivity. Now, positivity is okay if being supportive of people, um, but it can, it sometimes it gets to the point where you're just downright lying to people, and if I was to, well, if, if someone was to, like, look obviously male, but put a wig on and still have, like, stubble and post a picture in a transgender group and say, oh, look how how they'll look, uh, people won't be honest and say, well, actually, you don't look female. Do I look, if they asked you, do I look, do I look a woman? That people wouldn't be honest and say, oh, no, 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 you, well, actually, you don't. You've got stubble, blah, blah, blah. It'd be like, oh, God, yes, you look amazing and all this, all this kind of stuff. And it's... And, and at that point, positivity and supporting people, it's, it's, it's lying to people. Mm. It is lying to people. And I have a lot of people that I've come into contact with who've, since I came out as transgender, um, they've been very supportive and they've taken the money off me of various things like, um, I'm not saying what treatments I've been through, but um, I've come to the conclusion that, you know, they've buttered me up from the start 
it, it, even even before I even looked anything like female. I mean, by to, by the end, I was I was looking, I was looking all right, but they just lied to me, and and the community is a lot of people in the community have lied to me as well, and a lot of things that have been pushed about what you need to do if you want to transition, and yeah, a lot of people, a lot of fake people, a lot of liars. Not just trans people, but people involved in, with the community who make money from the community as well. It's an industry, and it's a, and people making a lot of money out of it. And um, and there's one thing I wish I had done right from the start, rather than try to change my body to match how I feel. I should have really got some um, some some kind of like um, therapy um, to to deal with my feelings. I think it would have been a better way forward. I don't want to come across as being anti-trans or anything, but the community, it's 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 not. It's it, it can be very militant. It can be very. There's a lot of people lying to other people, and I feel like I'm moving out of that now. Um, I've had enough. I really have, and uh, <clears throat> and I just know that you know, people are going to try and talk me back into it again, and try and pull me back in, and. I I don't want to say that the trans community is like a cult, but it, it's well. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, well, yeah. That's my opinion. Well, yeah, and I hate to say that, but it, it, it's true, and I feel like I'm sucked into it. I've seen it from your from your side. Mm. I've seen what people have been like with you. Mm. You know, and just from going out on those nights out, we used to have, and it's fake. A lot of it is just fake. Yeah. Fake people, not your friends. Yeah. We'll try and push you forward. You do, and, yeah. And, and and stuff and and uh, and and, yeah. and I and I think what thing that really annoys me. I mean, this hasn't been the case for every single transgender person that I've no. been friends with. Some have been lovely. There's been a couple that have been lovely, um. But the majority of them, they've all been my friend. And when I've started to have problems, they don't want to know. Don't want to know at all. They, they just they, sacked they, you off completely. Yeah, they don't want to know. And, they uh, contacted you when you tried to reach out, and they yeah. just people just didn't yeah. respond at all, did they? That's it. Yeah, and they're not friends. No, not a true at all. friend will be there for you no matter what, through thick and thin. Yeah, will message you to make sure you're all right and you're coping and things like that. Absolutely, because you have got some friends still like that that still message you. Yeah, I've got a couple. Yeah. I've got a couple of friends in that, but they're genuine friends. A lot of them. No, not at all. So they've just been blocked and deleted out of our lives. Yeah, they've just completely gone. So I want to get a new Facebook profile. Um, strangely enough, my old Facebook profile, which I'd kept, suddenly got suddenly dis disappeared. Um, but I want to try and get that back. Um, but my current one, I want to get rid of, and uh, I'm just going to try and move forward best way I can. Um, from now, I might do another video uh, about about this. Um, I'm going into more detail. But at the moment, that's what I'm just saying to you now that I've gone back. Because we know a lot of people have been messaging us, haven't we? Even on my TikTok, are you doing any more YouTube yeah. videos? We've not, had the, we've not physically and mentally had the strength to do anything. No, we've been through hell. We've well, been through hell. It's been through hell, and my mum passed away on the eleventh of January. That's our second announcement. Um. Yeah. So. I've not been in a very good place either and still coming to terms with it because we had a funeral last week and it's been hard. Yeah. I haven't been able to make any videos on TikTok or anything like that because even though she's in a better place and things now it came as we were expecting it but it came as a big shock when it did happen and let's say it's four weeks now and we had a funeral last Friday and we got back, rushes back yesterday, and that's been hard as well. Yeah. So, I've been still raw, and it's just been horrible. And I'm not gonna say much more about this. But there's been people who've been connected to the family who've been horrible as well. Yeah. So, there's been some horrible people who've you know that we're not happy with. It's been really bad. Um, at, at such a horrible time as well. Um, now Fiona's done a lot from my mum over the last year. Her and Davina really 
really cared for a few more months, I think, yeah, and done everything you, you could, but um, it it was just ridiculous, the, the, the kind of treatment she got from the NHS. Um, she started suffering in, in December 2022, and she needed a lump puncture, and she had to wait about seven, eight months, mm -hmm. seven, eight months uh, to get a lump puncture because she had um, hypercephalitis, which is like, Hydrocephalus. Hydrocephalus, yeah. Which is a build of pressure caused by fluid on the brain and she needed a lumbar puncture to release that, that pressure. And uh, it took seven months to get a lumbar puncture. She didn't even get it. In the end, no, in the she end. do it in the end. She lost it too long. I mean, why why has it taken seven months to get a, a lumbar puncture? It's absolutely ridiculous. And it just shows you the state of this, this NHS in this country. It's, it's a joke. It's absolutely, it is really, really, really bad. And you, you pushed and pushed and you to get that lumbar puncture and they just they just fobbed you off again and again and again. And by the time they they, they got round to, to offering it to her, it was too late because she couldn't get into the fetal position because her, her body had stiffened up so much with the um, hydrocephalus affected the mobility. So there's nothing they could really do. So at that point, from last summer, um, they offered her nothing. And she just suddenly got worse. She started getting recurrent chest infections because she wasn't moving. Um, she was sat in a chair or a bed. Mm. We had to hoist her. We had to roll up to change everything. She started getting fluid on her lungs. And basically, in the end, she went into lung and heart failure. Yeah, it's been... It has been really hard. I mean... I know she's still with us. We can feel her at home. Yeah. We managed to get... She was... We managed to die at home. She was in, rushed into hospital. One night she was struggling to breathe because she, she had this fluid on her lungs. Mm. Doctor had only been out to see her the day before, said that her lungs were clear. Mm. Yeah, she was very mucousy. And I got this frantic phone call off my sister and Holly. Uh, on the Wednesday night, saying that mum was struggling to breathe, so we flew round and we two ambulances yeah. were there. Yeah, trying to bring her home, mum, weren't we? Um, she hadn't gone then, but we got her into hospital because we didn't know what was going on mm. with her. We wanted to do an ECG, uh, got her to hospital, we whisked her off. We came up a bit later because my sister rang me saying, You need to come, she hasn't got long. Mm. Uh, we flew up and she wasn't. She didn't regain consciousness, did she? They were giving her morphine. They said there was nothing they could do. Um, they thought she had pneumonia, but it was mm. there was suction in, but it was too deep down mm. into her lungs. Um, because I was asking all sorts of questions. Why can't you put her on antibiotic, intravenous antibiotics? Why can't you do this? Why can't you do that? Mm. And they just said there's nothing we can do. She's gone into heart failure. Um. We stayed with her all the time, all that night. She managed, even though she was unconscious, you know, whenever we told her we loved her, she managed She managed to, like, just say, I love you too. Um, we were over there all night with her. Because mm. we kept saying she didn't have long, she was going to go, but she kept hanging on and hanging. She hated hospitals. She never waited to be in hospital. She always waited to go die at home. And we asked if we could take her, there's nothing they could do if we could take her home. But at that time they said um, she was too poorly to move and she'd probably pass away in the ambulance. So they put us into another room, private room, didn't they? Yeah. We were there all night with her, all into Thursday. We asked again at about 11 o'clock if we could take her home. And they said no, because they thought she, she would pass. Mm. Uh, but she kept clinging on and clinging on we were talking to her, we were holding her hand we were playing her favourite music and stuff even though she was unconscious kept, mm. kept her on morphine to keep her comfortable but all the time she was like gasping for air which was horrible and then about half past four we asked again and the doctor came and she said right because she's last, she's been like sort of like stable for seven hours she can take her home mm. so they arranged for transport to come and take us um, my sister and my dad went in the ambulance with them. I went home with my son because when the ambulance first took her in to hospital, they took everything off her bed. There was nothing on her bed, so I waited to go home first to get a bed ready for her. 
and then a district nurse was going to be coming out mm. to help us with her uh i got home and then a few minutes behind mm. us mm. they arrived home with mum ambulance quick got her into the got her into bed yeah um she was literally only in the house we said to her, at your home, Mum, we, we did it, we got you home. Literally in the house, ten minutes, and she went. Dad threw you up, didn't I? Yeah. Didn't, you were I, 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 I didn't expect it to happen so fast when she came back home. <laughs> she wanted to be at home, and she she clung on and clung on till she got home. When, 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 see, when, when my daddy died uh, on my birthday, actually, in, in August, like last year, year before, and he, um, he had a stroke and um, didn't catch it in time. Um, he was actually in a care home, wasn't he, at the time? And uh, he went to hospital and they said, like, with your mum, they couldn't do anything for him, he was unconscious, and they sent him home. And he was at home for about, oh, God, about four or five days before he passed. Um, so I was kind of expecting it to last a few days, but obviously that wasn't the case with your mum. But it was good that he got home, though. Well, that meant something to you, so... And to her as well, so I was just a little bit of comfort that she died at home, not in a hospital. Yeah, we are quite. My mum was always very psychic and very like spiritual. She believed in everything like the afterlife and stuff, and she said she'd never ever leave us. And we know, we know she's still there. We've had signs, and we can mm. feel, we can sense her, we can feel her, and things. And I'm actually going to see um, a psychic on yeah this week, aren't we? Sometime we are. I say I'm 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 more skeptical. Than, than, than you know, than Fiona, but uh, well, Fiona really believes in it. I, I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm open minded. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. Um, but if it, to be fair, if if I, I'd like to believe in this kind of thing, if if if, it, if it's true, it'd be, it'd be it nice to. Oh, that's why I've come to see if there's any, if I can get any proof. If I if I get. Something. Well, my mum was Doris Stokes. I mean, Doris Stokes was a famous medium and mm. stuff in her time, and my mum used to be, was her secretary. Was um, she? Yeah. She, yeah, she was a secretary. Well, I never knew point. that. Yeah. Right. Yeah, she sorted out appointments and things like that. Oh, right, okay. Because yeah. she sort of like, got my mum and dad together. Really? Mm, not really. Right. Right. Tell my dad's been saying, you know, it was on the, fu at, at the funeral. Right, yeah. Was, I, I know that, but I didn't know she was a secretary. Yeah, she was a secretary for a short while. Right, oh, okay. Oh. Mm. So, so, yeah, I want to go on Tuesday and uh, if I hear something, um, which... This you know, site, she's meant to be very, very good. She's called Jeanette Green now. Yeah. And I was watching some videos of hers on YouTube last night and she's what well, mm. things that she was coming out with. Mm. Well, very good. If I hear something, I'll... Uh, the be ears prick up all. Maybe I'll believe. Mm. So I have to say about that, won't we? <laughs> but when you're in this family, at least so there's yeah, me, you, my dad, and my sister. Mm. So hopefully, yeah, yeah, hopefully I'd like to hear something. And if you know, if I hear something, I might book one for myself. Mm. Yeah. So that's it, guys. Uh, we've it's been it's been an awful time. It's been the worst year of my life and Fiona's life. It's just been awful. Um, neither was feeling great. Fiona doesn't feel great. I don't feel great. We've still been filming videos. We've filmed Christmas, uh, present opening videos, and um, we've also opened up. Um, um, well, it was my fiftieth birthday. Fiftieth, yeah, Fiona's birthday as well. So, yeah, I didn't feel like. Yeah, it. so we're gonna. We had my mum's funeral on the Friday. It was my mm. niece's birthday, 16th birthday on the Saturday, and it was my 50th on the Sunday. So mm. it was a busy weekend last weekend. Yeah. Um, I took it out that we weren't, weren't bowling. Um, and uh, got your surprise meal as well, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, we got your friends. friends and family, so it was lovely, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and my cake, yeah. Yeah, you also <laughs> try to ruin it for you. <laughs> yeah. You did well at throwing me off the centre. <laughs> I did, that, yeah. <coughs> I kept offering you places to go to and try to get you to think that you had, it was your choice where we went to. And I thought, well, if you if you thought it was your choice where we went to, then it can't possibly be a surprise birthday that I've planned because then there won't be like any cheese with us. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do. Yeah. 
it's good. Yeah, so yeah. So we'll upload those um those other videos guys and uh we'll try and upload at least once a week in, 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 in the meantime. We might start start uh, if we don't then you know why we think we are so Yeah. We'll try and go live at some point as well. Struggling. That we need to, to. Yeah. And still stay me and my sister still stay taking turns staying with my dad because he's not very good. We have to keep our eye on him, bless him, he's struggling as well. Yeah. So we need to, you know watch him and keep so he's not on his own and things because you know they were together like 50 odd years well 50 they've been 51 years and right. they've been together and it's a long time yes yeah. it's an awful long time for somebody when, when they're separated yeah it's horrible so yeah we'll try and um we'll try and upload and um i say it's still quite tough at the moment we're both struggling out with so mm. so yeah um so sorry it's been a bit of a, a down of this announcement guys but um that's why we've been off so but anyway anything else you wanted to put add to it or I'm trying to think of no in a minute. no yeah we'll just uh we'll try we'll try to upload on a, on a, on monday or a um a friday or maybe try them both we don't know but Mondays and Fridays, the guys, uh, the days to look out for. Just once a week for now. Yeah, it might just be once a week Twice for now. Twice is a bit too much at the minute. Yeah, because they're probably Friday, Friday evenings. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, um, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye.